session four of our advanced training. Um, congratulations then to you for attending four sessions and I hope that you've really been enjoying it so far. Um, so there's a register going around, please just make sure that you sign this um, and that you have your bookings ready as well because later um, I think we might be using them. Um, and then just a little reminder that uh, we are meeting again um, for session five on Tuesday the 28th of June. Okay? If you didn't get one of these last week, I've got some spare, please take them and, and uh, show them to your teachers so that they uh, notice that there's session in session five. All right. Um, so I'd like to welcome Professor Ridley to um, our advanced training this evening um, and um, I'm looking forward to his um, lecture on number theory and some useful questions and exercises based on number theory. Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm not a professor so that's, I, I hate you. I hate the title, so please uh, don't, well, I prefer not to be called this time. So it's very kind of you to do so. Um, and thank you all for coming on what is a miserable day. Uh, and I've just had a few thoughts where I've tried to start at a baby, baby, baby level and then tried to get quite a long way in a short time. So I hope there will be something at some stage or other that you will find challenging and interesting is more important. Um, number theory is a, a wonderful subject that can produce interesting results um, really for a lifetime. And, uh, I, I've certainly got pleasure, I've learned new things every year uh, in mathematics and particularly number theory. And uh, so, if you retain an interest, you can, you can really get a lot of enjoyment out of mathematics in general, and perhaps number theory in particular, all your life. So, as well as, of course, many other things. So, I want to start, as I said, at a very baby level, and uh, I was trying to help some grade sevens uh, and earlier this year, and the first thing they asked me, or I had to deal with them, was improper fractions and mixed fractions, expressing an improper fraction as a mixed fraction. Do you remember those terms? Do you remember what they mean? Something like that, which is of course the number? Pi. Not the number pi. Yeah, Close to the number pi. Um, you know better approximations for pi. Rational approximation for pi. One plus well, one's a bit sure, far short, but uh, I'm told that three over three plus ten over seventy-one is a better approximation, and apparently that was known to Archimedes. Um, and I was just playing with my calculator while I was waiting for this, and. Uh, 16, uh, 16 over 113, 3 plus 16 over 113 is a really good approximation. Well, for what that's worth. Um, and so, more generally, we can write
any ratio of integers as a quotient, which is an integer, plus, and I've got that wrong, haven't I? An integer part plus a fractional part, um, and that, we can also write that, um, perhaps more conveniently clear the fractions, multiply through by B, and, and say A is equal to Q B plus R, and Q is called the quotient, B is the divisor if you like, and R is called the remainder, and what do you know about R? It must be less than D. In fact, strictly. And then, so that's, this is, what is this property of the integers called? You know where this came from? Who was the first to who is it attributed anyway? To whom is it attributed the discovery of this property? This is the the it's the it was the Greek mathematicians, it's in fact called the Euclidean property of the integers. Um, Euclid is a name that's people most people think as as being associated with geometry, but uh, that group of mathematicians who were quite a long time after Pythagoras, that was in the 2,200 rather than 2,500 years ago, um, they did a lot of, of number theory, including observing this property, and so this is called the Euclidean property of the integers. And perhaps the most interesting situation is if, if r equals naught, if the remainder is then we say many things, I don't, perhaps I won't write them down, we can express that in many ways. Obviously then, A is just Q times B, so we say A is a multiple of B, I've got written them all down, there's so many different phrases of saying, or sometimes we say A is divisible by B, or we sometimes say B divides A, and that's sometimes written like this. I tend not to use that notation much myself, but B divides A. Which means B goes into A exactly, if you like, though you wouldn't get a mathematician writing that. Uh, or else you could say B is a divisor of A, or A is a multiple of B, have I said that? Or B is a factor of A. So there are many, many, many ways of expressing that property, because it is so important. But going back to the expression above, we can write R equals A minus QB. That means if you have any divisor of A, which is also a divisor of B, then it will be a common factor or common divisor of the right-hand side, and therefore it will also be a divisor of R. So any common divisor or common factor, please take a copy of that, those sheets there. Um, any common divisor of A and B will also be a, a divisor of R. So that means it divides B and R. So we can repeat this process. So that's the important thing is seeing any common divisor of A and B will also be a divisor of B and R. So we can repeat the process. And so we can say, as long as, uh, as, long as R is 
not naught. We can we repeat the process and we can say B divide that by R and we'll get a new quotient, let's call that Q2. And let's call R R1 just for counting's sake. And now anything we've done once we can do again. R2 is less than R1. So we can say as long as R2 is not naught, we can say R2 will give us a third quotient. R1, sorry, R1 divided by R2 will give us a third quotient and a third remainder. And as long as the remainder is not zero, you can write an extra line. And you can continue in this way, but R1 is less than B, R2 is less than R1 in the same way, R3 is less than R2, B, we've assumed, I have not didn't say at the beginning, is a positive integer. This procedure can't go on forever because R1 was already squeezed 